Welcome to another tutorial on Python programming. So in this particular tutorial, I am going to write um, a function which is going to find the factorial of a number. So familiar with uh, school mathematics, if you remember what a factorial of a number is, uh, uh, the factorial of a number is nothing but the product of uh, all the numbers uh, starting with uh, you know one to that particular number. Uh, say for example, I want to find the factorial of uh, 3, okay, so how do I denote it? 3 factorial, right? So that's nothing but 3, uh, then product of, uh, you know, product of 3, 2, uh, and 1, okay. Similarly, the factorial of uh, 4 is, the factorial of 4 is 4 multiplied to 3, multiplied to 2, multiplied to 1. So that means uh, if you take the factorial of a number, you just have to multiply it to, let's say you're taking number x, it's the product of x uh, multiplied to x minus 1, x minus 2 up to oh, 1. Okay, so that's uh, factorial. So how do we write a function which is going to take uh, a number as the parameter and it's going to return the factorial of that number uh so how do we do that okay so let's define a function factorial okay and the parameter to this function is x okay so x not, uh, is nothing but it's, it's just a number that you are going to provide to this uh, particular function okay and uh, the function is going to uh, come uh, you know calculate the factorial of that particular number um okay it should be a positive number okay uh, because uh, we do not normally we do not find the factorial of uh, you know uh, negative numbers it's always uh, the positive numbers okay all right so uh, what do we are going to do is that we'll uh, write a while loop which is going to calculate the uh, factorial okay so while x is greater than 0 that means the value of x will uh, we will decrement okay uh, you know while taking a product we'll decrement it with 1 remember how we were finding the factorial of 3 it's like 3 multiplied to 2 multiplied to 1 right so x will take value of 3 2 and 1 and the product of that is is uh, the factorial of 3 right so while x is greater than uh, 0 we'll put it in a, another variable so the final factorial value will put it in y so y equal to y multiplied to x and then we'll decrement x as uh, minus x or x equal to x minus 1 okay all right so the value of x is going down or is getting decremented we are decrementing the value of x by 1 in each iterations okay so but we have not uh, declared the value uh, or we are not initialized or declared this variable y all right so let's uh, you know de uh, declare the variable y where we are going to you know um, capture or you want to keep the value of factorial va final value of the uh, factorial uh, calculation okay and we are assigning it as one why because because uh, you know initially in the first iteration uh, if one is multiplied to some number it is always the same number right uh, hence uh, in the first iteration the value of x is 3 so 3 is multiplied to 1 it becomes 3 so y takes a value of 3 okay in the second iteration uh, x is now 2 right because in here we are decrementing it by 1 okay so x is now 2 so in the second iteration uh, y is already 3 okay then it becomes 3 multiplied to 2 okay which is 6 and then finally x is 2 minus 1 is 1 and then it you know uh, this condition is made uh, entry criteria is made and then um, you know uh, 
it's multiplied to 1 again because x takes a value of 1. So factorial of 3 is 6. Similarly, if it is like uh, 5, you want to find the factorial of 5, so what it will do is that uh, it will first check the uh, entry criteria. It's greater than uh, 0, x is greater than 0, that's right. And then y equal to 1 into uh, 1 multiplied to 5, which is, you know, 5. And then x becomes 5 minus 1, 4. And then it, it goes above and check this condition again. Okay. And then it x takes a value of 4. And then it's again uh, multiplied to 4 into 5 uh, and so on. Okay. So if you are, uh, if you want to find the factor L of 5, so the way it, the function will calculate is it's first going to calculate 1 multiplied to 5 and then which is 5 and then it is going to multiply 5 multiplied to 4 and then 5 multiplied to 4 plus 3 and so on up to 1. So in each iteration things are going to change. Okay. So that's what we have done in this uh, functions. So let's compile this and let's see how it is able to do it. Okay. So save this code and compile it. All right. So now the code is compiled. Uh, we can we can try a couple of examples. Okay. So factorial of three. Okay. It should give us an answer of six. Okay. So I think something wrong with the code. Okay. So we have not uh, we have not written the um, return statement. So return y. Okay, so make sure that you always you always write the return uh, statement uh, in uh, functions where you are you know uh, doing the calculations. Save. Okay, it's compiled. So let's find out the factorial of three. All right. Okay, something is wrong here so make sure that uh, you know the indentation is right if you are uh, you know uh, what we had made the, uh, the the mistake that we had made uh, was uh, we had written uh, the written statement uh, outside the uh, block or outside the block of the uh, function so make sure that you know it's properly indented okay so it should be uh, in line with the while statement otherwise it will be considered as as a, a statement written outside uh, the function okay hence it was you know uh, always uh, it was not giving proper answers now it's within the block within the function and it should give right uh, correct answers okay so let's compile it and then let's try okay so factorial 3 okay all right it gives correct answers now 3 into 2 is 6 so the answer is 3 okay what the factorial of 4 it should be 24 that's right uh, factorial of 5 is 120 okay what is factorial of 10 it will be pretty large number yes factorial of 20 it will be a very big number I'm sure all right factorial of 50 all right so it's not able to calculate the factorial 50 because it's, it's a, oh sorry I guess uh, the spelling of factorial is wrong that's why I thought it's not able to calculate okay so factorial of 50 it's a very big number so you can imagine uh, how by multiplying uh, you know numbers from 1 to 50 you get a very big numbers it you know it, it's number with more than 50 60 digits all right so that's the way you can write more functions so this in, uh, you know you, you can uh, write functions uh, to calculate distance between um, you know two points in a straight line uh, sorry in a, in a xy plane you can calculate uh, 
you know the you can you can write, write a function about uh, finding the uh, the hypotenuse in a Pythag uh, in a right triangle by using Pythagoras theorem and so on. So we'll see a couple of these examples in the next video. So thanks for subscription.